Sean Payton was in absolute mid-season form, all pissed off, tired, looked exhausted. I love to see it for the opening press conference for training camp. Are you guys going to practice? Let me know. I'm going to break it all down. My insights, takeaways from the press conference, I will link in the description from Gage over at Bronco Syndicate, the press conference. Go support your small neighborhood Broncos channels now. Let's get into some of my takes on what Sean Payton had to say. Now, I did want to point out before I get started again that this man, Sean Payton, had big bags under his eyes. He looked like he barely had any sleep. It looks like he'd been game planning all night. He's in midseason form. He's pissed off with the media as usual. So it it's it's lovely to see. It's music to my ears. We know that football season's right around the corner when Sean Payton's starting to get a little pissed off and irritated with all our lovely members of the Denver Broncos media, right? Now, first off, Cortland Sutton. He talked about Cortland Sutton and said, Yeah, he's gonna be here. He's and and that's the end of that. He sounded like he was putting down justice on the idea that Cortland Sutton going to get a contract adjustment? No. No. He's going to be here. He's going to play for what he signed for. Wow. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see an adjustment either way. But I love to see that. I mean, he was speaking with authority. He was talking like somebody's daddy. Oh, Sean Payton was. Now, let's get to the quarterbacks. I'm surprised by this. Still going to open up with a with a three-horse race at the quarterback position. Zach Wilson, Jarrett Stidham, and Bo Nix. Now, I hope, and I feel like he kind of alluded to this as well, I hope that he's going to shorten this to a two-quarterback competition here soon. But starting off training camp, I guess Zach Wilson's going to be part of this race. Interesting. Okay? Now, one of... My favorite Denver media members, Cecil Lammy, had a nice little back and forth with Sean Payton talking about Lucas Kroll. Seemed to be irritated by it, but that's okay. He was irritated by everything in this press conference. Cecil Lammy saying, wasn't he the best player in the whole offseason? And Sean Payton seemed to be offended by this. He said, no. He said, maybe you're talking about somebody like Quinn Miners or Pat Sertan, which those guys are about to be the highest paid players on the team, right? Collectively. And it was nice to see Sean Payton mention those guys, give those guys the the credit. And also, uh, not giving too much praise to Lucas Kroll too early before we can really see, has he made the the progress that we want to see in his blocking to develop into that all-around tight end? Right now, that starting tight end, it is Adam Troutman's job to lose. But here... With the Lucas Kroll gang, we're hoping that he can overtake Adam Troutman and be that true number one tight end. And Greg Dulcich, he's healthy. He's back. How long will it last? We will just have to see. I don't have my hopes up, but Greg Dulcich, please, please. Third time's a try, right? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and also talk about what Sean Payton responded to i forget who asked this question about the over under total about are you concerned that the media has made out the broncos to be one of the worst teams in terms of what they expect from them this year the over unders at five and a half wins and again sean payton has never won less than seven games in his entire head coaching career and he seemed to be pissed off about all that and said hey if I was uh, if I was concerned about what you media members were talking about, then we wouldn't have gone to the NFC Championship in my first year as a head coach in the NFL in 2006 with the New Orleans Saints. Wow. This guy's fired up. He's fired up to work. And uh, I think he's already really locked in because he feels like he has enough here to win games. I really do feel that way. Hopefully, he feels like we got the guy at quarterback. We better. And it better be Bo Nix. That's how I feel about it. But we have, uh, in my opinion, we've improved on both offense and defense. We'll see about special teams. But I thought special teams was uh, a positive last year. And he also 
mention somebody that we talked about yesterday, Owaza Rike, 320-pound defensive lineman, fourth-round pick, I believe, a couple years ago, suspended last year for gambling. We might hear as early as Thursday, guys, if he's going to be reinstated. Sean Payton said they definitely want him back. It's just up to the powers that be if they're going to allow that or not. That's kind of what I figured, and that's great to see that they're going to hold on to him rather than uh, cutting him or anything like that. He's a talented guy, and he's had this whole offseason to keep his body fresh and improve, get stronger, develop his game. I want to see that come to fruition, right? So those are my my main takeaways. Really, the Cortland Sutton contract adjustment talk, it's over with. Jarrett Stidham, Zach Wilson, and Bo Nix, they're all in the race for QB1 right now. I hope that does not last long. Wazarike, they're going to welcome him back if they can get him back. Lucas Kroll, he's got a lot of work to do before he starts getting praise from Sean Payton in the press conferences coming up. And... At the end of the day, Sean Payton is here to win football games and not make friends in the media. And that's what makes me a fan of him. (laughs) I think we've had a most, our most recent head coach before Sean Payton was way too concerned with making friends rather than winning football games. And how do you become a worse coach than Josh McDaniels? You follow the Nathaniel Hackett playbook, right? I love that he's the coach of this team. I love that he's already pissed off and irritated a little bit. I think we're in for a good training camp and a good season, Broncos country. So y'all let me know what you guys thought. This is my instant reaction to Sean Payton's hilarious training camp opening press conference. I think we're going to get some more good ones along the way before week one of preseason starts, don't you say? So if you guys want to hear more Broncos content, daily smash that like and subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comments and let me know if you'll be at training camp august 1st i'm going to be going to that so thank you guys so much i'll be back with another video sometime sometime very soon bo nicks film room i promise it's coming as always y'all go broncos